Hello friends and welcome back to another Marinus Tech video. Today we are going to set up MongoDB Atlas, our cloud-based database, so we can use it when we deploy it on render. So this is going to be a two-part video. In this one, we will set up Atlas. And in the next one, we will deploy our Myrna Stack application on render. So if you don't have the application, you can download it from the link in the description, which is to the GitHub repo. And I've already have it on my system. If you followed those videos, you know that we used the local database and we saved everything in the local database. So now let's set up MongoDB Atlas. So first we need to go to the Atlas platform. So go to products and then Atlas, and then you need to create a free account. So I've already done that. So I can just sign in with Google. And if it's your first time signing up for Atlas, they will ask you a bunch of questions like what do you want to use it for? And like, what's your role and things like that. And then you will be headed to an overview page where you have already a project set up for you. So by default, they set up a project for you and it's going to be project zero, I believe. But for this purpose, I deleted all my projects so we can go through it together and I will show you that screen in a moment so let's just create a new project here and you can name it whatever you want of course I'm gonna call it Marin 2024 and just press next and create the project so again if you are signing up for the first time this is probably what you see and up here is the name of your project so if it's the default one it is probably like project zero or something else if you want to create another project or change the name you can view all your projects here or create a new one and manage these old ones so that is the first step creating a project then we need to create our cluster. So let's press on this create button and I'm going to choose the free version. We don't need to worry about provider and region. The recommended choices are selected for us already. Then we can name our cluster. Again, I'm going to call it Marin 2024 and just press create. So the next step is to create a user for our database access or cluster access. So I'm just going to call it demo underscore user. And then the password is going to be 321321. Then we can hit create user. This will take us to another section that says, where would you like like to connect from and if you scroll down your current IP address will be automatically added but if it's not there you can just press add my current IP address and I'll show you in a moment how you can edit your IP addresses and user settings so let's just press finish and close and go to overview so our cluster is created here and we just have to connect to it but before we do that I just want to show you in the security section on the left side, if you go to the database access, you have your users and you can create one or delete or edit the existing users. And if you go to network access, you have your current IP address added for you. But what I'm going to do here, just delete my IP address, my current IP address, and I'm gonna add another IP address and then select allow access from anywhere. So this would allow me to access from any IP address, including our render app later on in the next video and we can set a timeout for this for example if you want this to expire after a certain time you can check this part and just say for example after a day I want this to be gone so I'm just going to turn this on so after a day this will not be accessible from this IP address so I need to come in here and set up the IP addresses properly so let's press confirm so now we can access our cluster or database from anywhere so let's go back to database up here and we can just press connect so this will Will give us a window that says how do you want to connect if you are using compass you can go here and just copy this string then go to compass i already have it open so instead of this local uri we can just paste that and then change the password so for me it was 321321 and then press connect now we are connected to our cloud-based database and you can see it says up here so we can interact with it in a compass now let's do the same thing for our main application so i'm going to go back here one step and select drivers then the driver is node.js the version is 5 or later we don't need to install mongodb at this point because we are using mongoose and all we have to do is to copy this string again so i'm just going to press copy go back to our application in the back end folder we have the server and we could just paste it here but what i'm going to do in our env file i'm going to create a new variable and i'm going to call it db underscore uri and set it to that string i just have to change the password three two one three two one all right so this would be also helpful when we want to deploy it so let's save this one and close it and go back to server instead of this string i'm just going to say process dot env and the name of the variable so db underscore uri we don't need to change anything else because the db name is going to be the 
the same it's going to be created for us and the rest is the same that's all we have to do to connect to our mongodb atlas so let's save this one and test it out we need to start our local development server so i'm just going to open the terminal here and because i just downloaded this from github i don't have the node modules so first we need to say npm i or npm install to install the modules and notice i am in the backend folder and now let's just say npm run server so our connection to database is successful we are connected to our cloud-based database and we are listening to port 4000 let's go to postman i've already have it opened and i'm just gonna send a request to our api and see if there are any posts on our database Let's press send. We get an empty array, of course, because there are no posts. And if we check our compass, we have demo DB now with posts and users. If we go to MongoDB Atlas in the browser and just browse the collections here, you can see we have our demo DB with two tables or two collections, posts and users. Let's create a user and see if this works. So I've already have this from previous videos. We need to make a post request to register a user to this endpoint and we need to have the email and the password in the body. So I'm just going to press send here and we get a success. If we go to compass and go to users table, there we go. We have our user. We can of course see it in the browser too so we know it's working and it's connected this is basically what we have to do to connect to our atlas database we just have to change the uri and in the next video or next part we are going to deploy this application on render and see how that works and i've already created a demo for this and i have my render account open here and you can see it says deployed and this is our application anyway this is for this video and we connected our Marinus stack application to MongoDB Atlas. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Bye-bye.